function as a service class this is a new architectural pattern which came into picture when AWS introduced lambda functions as part of its services and also Azure functions from Microsoft what is fast actually it is an architectural architectural pattern relatively new it says that you don't need to have a service in the active mode or always on mode because the service is activated only when request arrives later the service dies if a new request needs a response a new instance is launched so basically it says that you don't need to have a service always running in server in the, that means you should not be always in active mode the service is activated only when the new request comes and later once the execution is done whatever the job you assigned to that particular service is finished the service will die if a new request needs a response a new instance is launched of course when the on service is processing the request in between another request has come into the service in that case the new service instance is created and will be launched the request is processed we have several use cases we can think of like uh, where we can implement a function as a service uh, think about the ETL job of course you guys know what is ETL it is like extracting the data from uh, different data sources uh, extracting transforming and loading the data to another database and uh, think this scenario like uh, we have a Twitter platform and Twitter API where we can uh, retrieve the uh, tweets from the Twitter platform using an application this is a ETL uh, application which executes the uh, job like extracting the tweets from Twitter platform by calling client API and guess the tweets and processes the tweets which are uh, tagged with Donald Trump's tag and finally saves the data into backend database in this case there are there is a problem for example there won't be always uh, tweets which are tagged with Donald Trump but the application the ETL application always running in background and trying to look at uh, Twitter platform uh, whenever Donald Trump tweet is tweeted and it will be fetched and it will be processed and finally stored in backend database uh, Donald Trump the tag the tweets that are tagged with Donald Trump will not be created always even though there are no tweets with the tag name the application still runs in the background what happens it has if it is running 24 bar 7 even there are no tweets with specific tag that we are that we required it unnecessarily creates the too much memory imprint in the application and you, you will get the unnecessary usage charges even there is no processing of data with your instance it will occupy more CPU memory so that also incurs the more usage charges for you so how we can solve this how can we reduce the usage charges from cloud provider that is the case the same scenario instead of using 24 bar 7 ETL job you can create a on-demand function that is a function which runs when it requires as I said earlier function as a service so this function as a service it will be activated only when new tweet that is uh, tagged with Donald Trump then only the this function is uh, tri activated and triggered to process the data that is tagged with the Donald Trump tag and it will be processed and it will be saved finally to the backend database once this functionless sorry the serverless function is uh, done its job it will be terminated automatically so it won't uh, run 24 bar 7 and also it won't occupy more memory usages 
so obviously the user who is get who is uh, getting the service from cloud provider he won't get more bill so it will it is a great advantage it will reduce your uh, usage bill that's the advantage of uh, using a function as a service on demand basis we can think of one more scenario multi factor authentication without function as a service just think out there is an application where a user enters uh, his username and password and log into the application and he will do whatever the activities that he wants to do on uh, that particular web application for example if you see there are more user requests are coming coming up so the organization uh, thought that better to implement two factor authentication in that case whenever user enters his username and password the web application running in the server sends the otp it's a one time password it's a two factor authentication right so the web application sends the request to the his mobile number mobile which some code user has to enter this uh, otp on the web page see here what happens user sends the request offering uh, with the username and password immediately the server sends the otp to the mobile to his user mobile in between after that server process the request and it will shows the new page where he can enter the otp see if there is one more request from another user the server has to process the second user request as well what happens if the multiple users so web server will get more load and it will ha it in the it is blocking the displaying of page to the users so before display displaying the otp page to the users the server has to process all the users request to send the otp to their mobile phone so it is blocking the execution of displaying of otp page this is wrong design right if it is a if the number of uh, thousands of users sends a request to the web server from different uh, uh, you know, web pages so it will blocking all the process so it will create the unnecessary load on the server so in this scenario we can implement function as a service design uh, pattern how oh. Whenever user sends the request to the web server with his user ID and password, the web server immediately sends the request to the uh, the serverless function, which is an on-demand function, and also shows the page to the user to enter the password. So here, web server triggering two tasks parallelly, sending the uh, another web page to the user to enter the OTP and also it activates the serverless uh, function to process the request. It delegates the work of uh, sending SMS, the OTP SMS to the user by a serverless function. Here, now you can see that it is not blocking the displaying of OTP page to the user. If even another user sends a request to the server, still it can send the request to the other serverless function to create another serverless function and also sends the OTP page to the user. So in this way, we can solve and we can reduce the overload on the web server. In this way, function as a service is much useful and it is a very good design pattern. That is, that is the reason it is getting more popular. So it, block, it is unblocking the execution process, it delegating the other work to another serverless function on demand basis. It is doesn't run 24 by 7. So it avoids the latency. How to implement the function as a service in Kubernetes? Of course, cloud providers provide the Lambda functions and serverless function, whatever the name they, you like. But how we can implement this function as a service in your cloud native environment that is on Kubernetes? 
there is a solution for this the kubeless this is another new tool that came into the picture recently this is, this is a kubernetes native serverless framework and it is like an add-on to kubernetes it creates a custom resource and controller to handle uh, serverless functions in a cloud native environment and it also provides a cli tool to deal with it yeah if you really need how we can implement function as a service in a cloud native environment just put your comments in uh, comment section i will make another video on this so just a summary of what we have discussed in this video like a functional function as a service is a relatively new architectural pattern this function doesn't need to be always in active mode whenever the service request comes in then only the server this function is launched and triggered to do the assigned job once the execution is done the serverless function is terminated so it it is much useful it will not uh, incur more bill for the user because there are no resources are utilized and the uh, serverless function is terminated that's it guys if you have any questions and please put those in comment section if you like this video please like it